द टनल अंकुश वॉज लुकिंग आउट ऑफ द ट्रेन विंडो एट द बसलिंग प्लेटफॉर्म ही रिफ्यूज टू लुक एनी वेयर एल्स एंड देर वॉज पापा सेंग डू यू वॉन्ट अ बैट अंकु और अ वॉटर पिस्टल अ टॉय सेलर अपियर्ड नियर द विंडो एंड सडनली देर वर लॉट्स ऑफ कलर्स अराउंड अंकुश फेस मम्मी सैट अप विद अ जर्क एंड पापा स्टिफेंड नाउ मम्मी वॉज क्लास्पिंग हिम टाइट एंड ओवर हिज हेड she spoke to hari singh who was at the door of the carriage mummy's voice sounded more and more wobbly remember he's frightened of tunnels there was a piercing whistle which went through their bones hari singh stroked ankush's head i'll be back in a few minutes he said then he was gone to Ankush was all alone in the huge empty carriage. In one corner somebody had left a pile of luggage covered with an old black cloth. Nothing else. That about to cry feeling began. Ankush bit his lip bravely. And just then a whistle blew so loudly that it seemed to hit him. Ankush's sobs turned into screams of terror just when he couldn't stand it for a minute longer the dark began to lift slowly and then ankush saw a kind of magic happening the luggage in the corner was moving it had got up and was coming towards him a hand came out from under the black cloth and pushed aside the top part and behind that part of the black cloth ankush saw a face with pan stained lips and big gold earrings oh my little child my little bird so frightened but it was only a tunnel why didn't you come to me the hand came out again and undid the whole cloth and from underneath came a complete auntie rather plump wearing a salwar kameez and a very long dupatta around her head don't you ever talk or has mummy told you to keep quiet all the way to calcutta now how about something nice to eat she opened a box and held up some delicious looking round things ankush nodded his head vigorously the auntie spread a napkin on his lap and gave him a small thali full of the round things ankush looked at the auntie a little shy i thought you were luggage he said the auntie began to shake with laughter she laughed till the tears rolled down her cheeks and finally she gave him a pretend slap ankush tugged at her black covering that's what you cover luggage with just then hari singh came hurrying into the compartment he looked at the two of them a little puzzled Baba I almost forgot were you frightened when we went through the tunnel sitting up in Saida auntie's lap ankush looked hari singh straight in the eye frightened who me of course not he said